Okay, let's do this. I'll do this. I want to have a win for once, and I'm going to choose a different character. I think I'm going to choose IQ. Now, if you don't know who IQ is, she has a little gadget on her wrist that shows up all the emplaced things such as uh, C4 or uh, traps or basically anything electronic that the other side has set down we we're trying to defend. It's container. our job to actually get in and capture the hostage. So this first part really is crucial. I have seen a few people just staying back and not actually doing anything. And if you actually point your screen directly up, you can jump this thing and save it for later on like the desks and things like that. So I know I'm getting jammed here. So it's either very close, there's a jammer very close to this location, either above or below me. Otherwise I wouldn't have been able to move at that point. So I'm going to go down and see if I can find anything down here. Not much point really all of you going in one place. It's better to spread out through the actual house and try and find the location. Nicely done. The biohazard container has been located. Five seconds to insertion. Right, so I've marked them now, and I'm going to stay back a little bit and actually save that. So you can see, this is my gadget here. I'm looking through the wall, as you see, brought it up there five meters. There's nothing else in there. Otherwise, it would have shown up on my gadget. And it does now, after the update, it also tells my teammates where the gadgets are as well, so, which is a great benefit because before it was just you and not everybody uses comms in this game, which is a real shame because it is a team-based game and strategy plays a lot in this game. Not really the best idea for me to be going up front only with a pistol and my gadget out. But as you can see, there we go. So there are gadgets and things that the enemy has placed. So the rest of my team now know that those things are there. So let's just have a look around. And there we go. They've got a reinforced wall there. So it's going to need thermite now in order to be able to blast that wall. You can't use normal breaching charges. And if it is electrified, then thermite cannot put this thermite on that wall. And it will need somebody to use... Oh, here he is. Perfect. Well, that's perfect. Perfect timing. He's going to put down an EMP grenade, which is going to disable electricity on the other side, meaning the thermite can now put that on the wall if he's going to use it. Is he going to use it? Maybe he's put the wrong one down. It has to be thermite rather than normal breach. Oh, there we go. And now we can breach this wall. live. Right, so let's move up slowly, slowly now. So they're probably going to be in there. You can see the barbed wire, so we know they're up, we're on the other side of this. Just have a quick look with this, see what we've got in there. Oh, coming in already. Wow! That was a lucky kill. That was a lucky kill. So I'm just going to wait in here. Behind guys. I may swap back to the org. Now we've got a rough idea where we are. We've got a man down there, so. Left, behind. Two men down. Like two men left. This is going to be quite. Let's just take that. Five guys behind. Out. Now I need to get to Richie, really, and get him up. There's no point trying to do this on my own. And that's another thing. When people go lone wolfing on different floors, you're just not going to run to them because, of course, that timer at the top is ticking down now. I need to get Richie up. We need to get in there and work out a plan here on what we're actually going to do. Thanks, bro. Reloading. Scanning. Stay sharp. Just checking. Nobody's put C4 or gas around anywhere, anywhere around there before we move in look like it. So I know there's a guy down there. I'm just going to keep peppering him now, see if I can get one. Look at, look at that, 60, sexy boy at the top, you fucking cunt. Go fall on a spike head first, cheating hacking bastard. I hate him! <coughs> anyway, we've got a hostage to rescue. Let's do this, Richie. I can see him sticking his head up. Around that corner. Behind, so, maybe, guys. I've marked him with that little two meter mark. I know some of you haven't actually got Rainbow Six, but you can put mark it down, stays down a little bit. Oh shit, am I last man? No, 2v1. Okay, he's, just he, he's in the room, I was shooting him. Oh, what a boss! Like a fucking boss! Kneel down and praise Lord Para! Baba! Oh, but it's normal, sorry. 